first we'd like to recognize the seniors from the Dixon team. Number 13, Maggie Bushman. Number 21, Brittany Stone. Number 23, Carly Hartley. Number 33, Katie Dewey. And 34, Becca Dresden. Still the seniors who makes a big round of applause. And now the seniors from Rockford Lutheran. First off, we have Mara Guzzi. The daughter of David and Renee Guzzi. Mara has been an academic all-conference athlete for volleyball, basketball, track. Has been on the high honor roll, four years of volleyball, four years of basketball, and four years of track. She's also part of the National Honor Society, the Key Club, the math team, and the teacher's aide for two years. Mara will be attending St. Ambrose University in the fall to throw for their track team while working on her doctorate in physical therapy. Mara would like to thank the coaches and your teammates for all the memories for the past four years and your physical therapist for getting her back on court time and time again. She'd also like to thank her parents for what they've done throughout her basketball career. Mara Guzzi. We have Rachel Malani, the daughter of Mark and Liz Malani. <laughs> Rachel's been on the varsity normal basketball teams for four years, has been on the track team for two years, up and on the honor roll for three years. She's a member of the Key Club and the Eco Club, and a member of the choir, and went to Spain with the Spanish program last summer. Her future plans include attending the University of Iowa to major in sociology and minor in special education. She wants to continue her education after college, after college and become a forensic toxicologist and a behavior analyst. So be careful when you're around preaching. <laughs> I'd like to thank her. She'd like to thank her mom and dad for making her the best she can be. She'd like to thank her grandparents for supporting her and being her biggest fan. She'd also like to thank her teammates for being there and making these, these the best years of her life. She'd like to thank Coach Rob and Coach Joe for making her a better player and for un an unconditional source of joy about basketball, and Coach Carlson for being like a second mom. That's Rachel Milano. <laughs> Next, we have Caitlin Stratman, the daughter of Brad and Amy Stratman. <laughs> Caitlin's been a varsity basketball player for two years, one year basketball team captain. She's been all conference for soccer and second team All American for soccer an Illinois State Scholar. She's a member of the math team, student council, National Honor Society, Key Club, and soccer and cross country. She's going to attend Concordia University in Nebraska and play soccer. She wants to get a degree in Spanish, science, and in secondary education. She'd like to thank her parents and her brother for supporting her and always being there for her. Her coaches for putting time and effort to make her a better player and a better person. And she'd also like to thank her teammates for pushing her to do her best and giving her so many great memories. Caitlin Stratton, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Next, we have Brianna Williams. <laughs> Being presented by Antifa Hayes and Frank Townsend. Brianna played basketball all four years in high school and played three years in middle school. She's also played volleyball and been on the track team and in pep band. This year, she's been thinking about trying out softball. She plans on attending Uni Union University in Tennessee. That's hard to say, two teams in a row. She wants to thank her parents and her friends for being supportive during her high school career. Brianna Williams. <laughs> well, let's get the players, the seniors, a nice round of applause and also thank Coach Carlson, Coach Robinson, and Coach Lodigo.